Hello, YouTube. Um, I'm sorry, I look like crap. Um, I woke up like an hour ago and I felt like I needed to make a video because I haven't been on YouTube in like probably two or three months and because of that I've lost a handful of subscribers probably I think I've lost three and I'm really sorry if I have offended any of my subscribers because I haven't been making videos I've been horribly busy um, if it's any consolation I was in a musical last week and if any of my subscribers anywhere have ever worked on a performance as stressful as a musical then you would understand and um, I'm really sorry that I haven't been making videos but I have some new products that I've gotten this past week that um, I really like and I'm going to show to you and then I'm going to go from here and probably make a tutorial which I've promised y'all from for ages now and I understand if you don't believe me when I am say I'm going to really make a tutorial this time I am I just this is the first time I've been able to do anything since uh, since about probably a month ago and so I'm taking the time to make this video for you guys so let's get right down to it so um first off my birthday was in was like two months ago and so I got some really cool things for my birthday that I want to show to you that I haven't actually used yet because I have been so busy but one of my really good friends gave me this purse it's from Charming Charlie's and it is gorgeous it's the purse that I'm carrying as of right now and I love it to death she was a very sweet sweet person to give that to me and Charming Charlie's if you don't know what that is is kind of like Forever 21 but it's it's arranged by color like everything that they have in the store is arranged by color and um, and it's for all ages so it can be like from teenage girls to um, elderly women who it's like it's like all ages store it's like from my age to my grandmother's age stuff like that it has clothes for everybody so that everyone can look chic or elegant whatever adjective you'd like to put but it's a very um, versatile store I should say and they have a lot of cute stuff but it's a little bit more pricey than Forever 21 because Forever 21 has really cute stuff at really inexpensive prices um, anyway but I digress um, next I got two palettes for, for my birthday um, because my dad gave me a Sephora gift card and so I decided to go use it like duh anyway so I got a Kat Von D palette which this is a limited edition one that it's still in Sephora stores so I would go grab it if you like it after I show it to you anyway this one is called Love and Fury which it kind of goes along with her Saint and Sinner type collection because I don't know Kat Von D is a very I wouldn't say satanic person I would say she's gothic but I really like her makeup a lot anyway so these are the colors that come in it I mean after I read to you the um, the names of these colors you might think something but anyway this is called this black color right here is called is called odd fellow and it's black with green sparkles I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it and then this color right below it is a dark burgundy which is called ace of spades I don't know if you can see these colors at all I'm sorry anyways um, then these two colors right here 
this red and this black are cream colors. This one's called Bloodletting, and this one is called Crucifix. And cream colors um, help shadows stay on all day, kind of like a primer. Although a primer, there's nothing, there's nothing like a primer really. A primer does it all for you. And then this color right here is my favorite out of the whole palette. It's this dark silver color, and it's called Glock. And then this metallic silver color is a cream, and it's called Slayer. And then this light silver color is called Holy Bible. And this white frosty color is called Albino. And those are those two. The one on my middle finger is Albino. The one on my index finger is Holy Bible. And it's a gorgeous palette. Um, and it even has two different colored brushes. It has a white one and a black one to kind of represent um, saints and sinners. And I'm guessing that by the layout of the palette, this side right here is the saint side. And this side right here is the center side. Um, and so, yeah. I like how they laid it out, though. It's very... Um, you can mix these colors really well, by the way, and I thought it was thought it was a really cool palette. Um, then I got this steel palette, which was inspired by uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and this thing was ten dollars. I got this at Ulta, by the way. This I got at Sephora. This Kat Von D palette because it's Kat Von D for Sephora. And then this one, this one I got from Ulta, which was $10, and inside it has four shadows and a cream, and what they call a convertible color, which is basically a lip color and a cheek color all in one. And, um, and then inside it has a quote that says, Unity in things necessary, liberty in things doubtful, charity in everything. And it's written by Anonymous. So, anyways, um, I would swatch these for you, but I have to, I would have to go wipe all the other colors off my fingers. And I'm running out of time. So, I think I might make a part two. I'm not sure. But, um, I thought this was a really cool palette. It's really pigmented, if that says anything. And then I will come back and talk to you about my other things that I've gotten recently and things I like very much. So, peace out. <laughs>